Hey everybody, it's that boondocking diva and today I am interviewing the lovely, lovely couple. Their names are Jean and Kay. Hey y'all, hey. how you doing? Doing great. With this lovely, <laughs> lovely rig. So I saw um, the name Talaro on the back um, and I've always been interested in Talaro. Um, so tell me your why. Like, obviously we're here at the Adventure Bandits glamp out and y'all are truly <laughs> truly truly glamping <laughs> let me just pull out all the way back here so they can see all this beautiful setup here um so they got everything y'all everything all right so tell me your why like how and why did you get into van life and camping can i sit here oh, yes, yes. okay we um We've always been interested in RVs uh -huh. since our kids were little. We were um, looking at RVs well, even when they were little. Yeah. We would always go to RV shows and everything. But we never really thought it was within our reach or our time frame. We were like, okay, we'll wait till we're retired. Da -da -da, yeah. You know, because you don't feel like you can do it then. But then I, we said, why not? You right. Know, yeah. Why not? You know. Because yeah, we, uh, so we all started researching RVs. And eventually, uh, in the beginning, we were looking at uh, Class C's. Okay. And then I started looking at the uh, the smaller Class A's. And then one day, I can't remember when, but was on YouTube and stumbled across a van life video. Okay. And started looking at the pluses and minus, uh, mainly the pluses over van life versus the larger rigs. Uh huh. And we were looking at the uh, custom bills. And started doing a lot of videos on uh, watching people doing custom builds, uh, watching people have a custom build done for them. Right. Uh, I'm not the handy guy, so I, I wouldn't have been able to build it myself. Uh, but then the price between a custom build or having someone build it uh -huh. or a manufacturer build was pretty much in the same range yes. uh, as far as price-wise. Yes. And I noticed that even with the custom builds, uh, the one thing that they lacked was a bathroom. Mm -hmm. And for us, uh, that, that 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 was just yeah. a note. No Traveling, and we and we travel quite a yeah. bit, and so the bathroom was a must. The bathroom we, was a must. We've been through some places that you go miles without a bathroom. Yeah, and then yeah. I have to go. So it was like, I hear you. <laughs> so the manufacturing bill is what brought us to that because we knew we wanted to have a bathroom. Yeah. Uh, so we, you know, I started researching probably a good year or so mm -hmm. before we bought. Okay. And before COVID. Yeah, okay. Before COVID. Before COVID. So you got the good price. Yeah. Well, uh, sort of, because I bought mine before COVID. Yeah, it was like much of. better pricing. Yeah. But we bought this in, in the middle of middle COVID. COVID. Oh, we started researching yeah. okay. before COVID. The pricing was, how was it? It, uh, well, so medium. When like, uh, this was in 2021. Okay. Okay, so by then we were in full work from home mode. I was working from home. And so I, I was price checking almost every month, every day, every month. Okay. And it seemed like every month the price kept going up, up by a, a couple thousand dollars. Yes. And then I think around September I checked the prices and the price went up twice in the same month. Ooh. And that's yeah. why I, I called and I said, okay, hey, look, yeah. it's time to pull the trigger because the prices, because at, at, when, uh, when I first looked at these, uh -huh. before COVID, before uh -huh. COVID, uh -huh. hey, you know, we're going to wait till we retire. Yeah, they it's were like, I don't think. We can wait until it was a low seventies. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. When I started looking before COVID. Uh huh. Uh, right now, these are probably running around one twenty. Yep. Now. Yep. But before COVID, they were like they were low seventies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that gives you an idea of how the price range jumped. Mm -hmm. Right. So we uh, went in. We ordered uh, in October. Yeah. And we picked it up in January of twenty twenty two. So this is a twenty twenty two Thor. Solaro 20k. 20k. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, that that was really our, I guess, our why is that we all we knew we always wanted to travel. Yeah. Uh, we thought we were gonna wait until retirement, and then we didn't really know uh, how to buy an RV. You know, we, you know, we didn't. We didn't we and know. everybody's got to do it for the first time, right. and you just don't you don't win every. So the key right. is that we realize it's similar to buying a home because. You can purchase these things up to like a 20 year uh oh yeah no financing loan. yeah so once we realized that that made things a little bit easier mm -hmm. we, you know we said hey we should have did this years ago right we really when we first have. started looking when the kids were little yeah yeah we have gotten more uh, 
our kids are grown now, but yeah. they would have enjoyed that. We did van life, but we were in a, a van. Minivan. Right. <laughs> we would travel across to North Carolina and Atlanta, and you know, we just traveled and yeah. did things with them. But yeah, yeah, that would have been nice. I didn't realize that either um, when I bought my class B. I was like. 20 year I didn't know you could finance yeah, it that right, way yeah. right right no, <laughs> I mean no, of course no. you want to pay it off early but it's always exactly. nice to right. have that option makes exactly. it affordable exactly. and men so that you can enjoy it in the long term yes right. and especially right. while you were younger because you got that time to, yeah. you know yeah. to lay on it yeah of course back then it would have been way cheaper oh yeah yeah so, way cheaper yeah. <laughs> you live and you learn you know so but yeah our, our and the reason why you chose this one was because our goal was the state parks, national parks. And you can get pretty much anywhere. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. do you use anywhere. this partially as an everyday driver? No. Uh, no. It's, it's mainly for uh, for camping. Okay. Uh, so we are part-time. We're not full-time. Okay. Uh, Good so we segue. Don't, so we don't, we, don't, yeah, we don't live in it. So if we were to go full-time, we would more than likely get something bigger. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the most that... Because uh, again, we just you know we've had it since 2021, mm -hmm. so we're about a year and a half mm -hmm. going on a year and a half in. Mm -hmm. uh, so the longest trip that we've done is around two to two and a half weeks. Okay. Uh, Where'd so you go? Our first Florida. trip went to Florida. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, we made a mistake of going in July. And where are you from again? Uh, the, uh, the Dallas area, yes. Texas. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's so a good drive. We knew about the. The, the heat in Texas, we should have known better because yeah. it's hot in June and July yeah. in Texas. Yeah. We went to Florida in July. It's the same. And yeah, yeah. And it, it, it would be yeah. worse. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> uh, so that, that uh, trip we went to Fort Myers. Uh huh. Uh, and then we left Fort Myers and all the planes coming down. I know, right? <laughs> just when we it's decided like to good. talk. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. So we left from Fort Myers and we crossed over to Miami. Yeah. And we drove uh, from Miami. We took the uh, 181 all the way up the coast of Florida. Okay. Into North Carolina. Okay. So that was our first long trip. That's and some serious yeah. mileage. Yeah. We had a blast. Yeah. We had a blast. Yeah. And then we enjoyed it because we were able just to stop wherever. Uh -huh. like we stopped in a regular parking lot uh -huh. in um, Boondock for the night. And we walked over to uh, to the beach, to North Beach. And we right. just kept the day at North Beach, came back. and yep. you know, Spent the night at the parking yep, lot. Yep, yep. We even ordered, ordered Uber. some Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, because they, how they, was that? Because I've always heard people say they do. I've oh, never done it. How, it, how was it? It, it, was, uh, it was quick and easy. Yeah, we just put yeah. the description of our vehicle. Right. So, and so they drove right up. And you just say I'm at the Walmart parking lot and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're in this van. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to try that. Yep. <laughs> the, uh, the, the parking lot was, uh, it was paid parking until 6 o'clock 6, 6 mm -hmm. p.m yeah. okay and then overnight it was free mm -hmm. yeah and then parking commenced at 7 a.m yeah. yeah so we paid up until six and spent the night in the parking lot got up and left, got up and left before, before seven mm -hmm. and uh headed on mm -hmm. and then we found another lot mm -hmm. further down same thing you pulled in it was a pay parking lot mm -hmm. you walk down to the beach yeah and that that's that what's nice so beach. great about having class b is because you can fit you in any parking spot yes <laughs> that is the beautiful day. side of, yes. of a class yeah. b now i gotta yeah. ask you a hard question because uh -huh. uh -huh. me and my husband we travel in my class b okay. uh -huh. lots of times right but the space Woo. okay so so my husband <laughs> my I, yeah you gotta tell me i already know i've been married 33 years and well, and you don't uh, look at mine. I, oh, thank you. We're matching because we've been yeah. married 33 years. What? Yes. yes. This was predestined, y'all. <laughs> 33 years, uh, yes. July 1st of this year. Oh, In gosh. fact, I got to rush back to Florida so we can celebrate. March 10th. March 10th. Awesome. Yeah. Years. Um, yeah. uh, July 3rd. What am I saying? Yeah. Did I say July 3rd or July 1st? <laughs> See, that's what happens when you get get a little a little wiser. <laughs> So, but yeah, the space, space thing. Wise, My husband's like, "Why you got all this stuff up in here?" <laughs> we're both we're both prior military. Yeah. yeah. So we're yeah. both in the Marine Corps. Okay. So we're used to operating in Trying. small spaces. Right. Right. Packing small. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's not that difficult. No, he's really good at seeing the space and figuring out what can go here and what can go there. Okay. Mainly military I mean, helps with that. That yeah. helps a little bit, and you kind of like have to decide, you know. What's most important? What's Priority. Important. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we both share. We have three drawers that we have each for clothing. Okay. And so yeah. So if it doesn't fit in there, 
make some some changes. Decide right. what it is that you really need. Yes. Leave it and then, you know, hey, just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. but as women, we always go like I always need a choice, yeah. right? <laughs> I need a choice between three different outfits per day. Cuz I don't know what I'm gonna feel like. I might feel That's like it. something That's else. I'm surprised so. <laughs> that these drawers do fit a lot. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I brought enough for shorts, my capris, my uh, spandex, my, I, and even I snuck in two pairs. I didn't tell them I snuck in See, two that's what we be doing. Oh, well, that's what we be, yes. You really know how the weather's going to be. Right. So, yeah. yeah. I yeah. feel you. I feel you. <laughs> um, so let's look around. If, okay, if sure. you yeah, want to okay. start on the outside or the inside. Uh, we can do the outside. Cause okay. Because can kind of give you an idea. Because basically everything that you see here, goes in most, most of the stuff goes in the van uh, okay the only thing that goes on top honestly is the chairs and these two ottomans okay uh everything else uh the blackstone the food, every, all these tables everything goes inside okay uh so we opted because obviously you're driving so right. you right, can right. take up more space mm -hmm. right. but is there still room for somebody to sit and lay oh, down yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah. cool cool on, on the inside yeah. uh, again they use the uh door to laurel oh. uh, it came equipped with a bicycle rack uh-huh um uh, but since we have electric bikes the the uh, stock bicycle rack wouldn't hold these bikes so we took the uh bike skis off okay and we mounted a cargo container Oh, okay. For storage. What cargo, uh, oh, I'm sorry, what kind of bike rack was that? Uh, this is uh, Thule. So, and it didn't fit both? It won't, uh, it, it, the weight of them. The uh, electric bikes were too heavy. These are really? just the standard bikes. Mm -hmm. but just a regular bike. Even with the batteries off? Even with the batteries off. Because I was thinking about getting the Thule. Yeah. I'm glad you told me that. Yeah. Well, this one, it came with it. So it came already with it on it. Okay. So, uh, since we couldn't use it for the bikes, yeah. we just used it for, uh, to mount a storage container on Okay, uh, so it that's comes good with to a, know. With the Thule bike rack, it comes with the Thule awning. Uh, so we actually bought a Thule. <laughs> a Thule. <laughs> what is this that? Is what, this is what we carry our bikes on. Oh. So it, it mounts to the uh, to the hitch. Oh, okay. And it just folds open. And, then and it'll carry both go, bikes. Yeah, carry that's both what bikes. I need. It'll take that weight. That's it'll exactly take the weight what out. I need. And it just gives you the. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. if you've taken just one. I don't know. Well, me and my husband like to take both when we're yes, going to the beach. Yeah. So we're like, yeah, we have a little cargo tray, okay. but I like, does that swing out what, this when here? you put that on the hitch? Okay, so when it goes on the hitch, it goes on this way, and then the, uh, the bike sit here. Okay. Now it folds down this way. So you can get to your So way. you can get to the So back. you can't open the door. Mm -hmm. That's, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Now, what, you can you get to the door with the bikes on? Yes. Beautiful. As long as you move, you know, it Yeah, because over. Cause the, uh, it's going to stick out. The bike's going to be out back about here. Okay. Yeah. So it still gives plenty of room for to all that and to reach in and grab it and open up the door. So and the, then bikes, the bikes will swing down. The cargo that so you you loot you you're parking wise you kind of have to take up a, a parking space and a half if you have the bikes. If you have the bikes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or just that find is a, so find a good spot to know. That you can bag into. Uh, or but usually in regular spots we'll take up I'll take up both spots just to yeah. be safe. And can I get that on Amazon? Uh, or, yeah, yeah, they have the store. Okay, yeah, you can okay. either buy it directly from Thule or it's on Amazon. All right. Uh, and then the they don't come with a spare. Yep. So we actually had a uh, spare mounted. Okay. Uh, I actually put it on myself. Uh huh. Uh, and just so you know, and I know you already know, but just so your followers know, uh -huh. yep. we are just us van life. <laughs> yes, I was just gonna say that. I was trying to get over <laughs> well, here. We're on YouTube. <laughs> uh, Y'all yeah. subscribe. Let me pause for a second. <laughs> Y'all go subscribe to their channel. Here it is just us and then van life all right go support <laughs> so all there, right there is a video out there of the installation of this uh mm -hmm. this, this rack and everything that i put on yeah uh so we, we did that out there and this is our garage area oh, oh great segue up top too. so yeah I, yeah i added a little storage we, basket for the top so that's what. Uh, so you added that? Yeah. On top of the solar, mm -hmm. just solar. The solar panels. And then yeah. that's not a Starlink. That's a WeBoost. Okay. So that's to boost the uh, cell signal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you all right? So you're not doing Starlink? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, that's just to uh, help bring the cell signal. Okay. So it, it comes works pretty good. Also, they use all Thule products, so it came yep. with the ladder. Okay. Uh, and then these are just some additions that I added on for extra storage stuff, but uh, my fire stuff, and some duct tape, 
-hmm. and some other little things that I yeah. want to keep uh, stored in there. So this is like a little garage, right. sort of. Yeah. We store our uh, blue and black hoses uh, in there mm -hmm. for uh, everything. And then our wet bath is in the back. Cool. Thank y'all so much for being willing to open up y'all's <laughs> home on the road. We don't mind. He added the extra rack, so the, uh, the little uh, holder so I can have Store places to put stuff, yeah. stuff in. Um, let's see what else. And for those of you always asking, because everybody always asks, Do we, use we use our bathroom. Uh -huh. We use number yep. one, number two, we right. use our there bathroom. There you go. Yeah, see, we have stuff to clean We've it. Yes. We keep tabs. Yes. We drop tabs yeah. I love it. Trip, he, I mean, usually he'll go top to bottom. Use poopery. Yeah. <laughs> I use that too. <laughs> so, so we use yes, our we bathroom. Do. Yeah, we use our bath. So cool. All right, looks nice. Um, all right, so we're gonna make our way to the side and pick up some more goodness. So this layout is more open than right. some of the other ones. I was looking at the couch. Because our couch comes out to the bed. Right, okay. Right. Yep. Do you want to go in first? Oh, so um, what's you easier for you? Around? Are the seats, oh, the seats are swiveled. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Okay, cool. Let me just step up here for a minute. Thank you. All right, let me start here and I'm just going to swing around. Um, would you consider bringing one of your kids with you? And uh, maybe sleep in an extra? I've thought about across that. Across the could, two seats? You can, you can get you can the buy. little deal. There's like an inflatable deal yeah. that sits up there. Yeah. Uh, but they would have to be on the short side. It would only be on okay. the corner. Uh, could not work. And okay. we've seen some, I've seen a video that a, a taller guy, because uh, I forgot the guy's oh, name. Okay. Uh, and basically he just kind of put his head up in the window. He was a little bit taller. Uh -huh. And he did fit up in there. Yeah. So yeah. it is possible. Yeah, I've it done it possible. in my van. I was, yeah. That's what I was asking. Yeah, it's very well possible. Okay, cool. But, so... Uh, just talk me through what's in the front real quick. Before well, yeah, we... uh, just basically, uh, you know, the driver's cockpit. Yeah. Uh, the we, storage. We, and... uh, we have a little upper storage up here. Mm -hmm. uh, then the, the other storage that's uh, up here. Okay. Um, we changed out the, the, the factory shades and everything that uh, came with it were really like cloth. Okay. Uh, so you bought them. And so, yeah, we purchased these from Van Made Gear van made gear mm -hmm. okay and uh they are way much better because it keeps the the sun out it's not as hot up here okay in the sun and then okay. it also keeps the warmth in uh as well i think our florida trip is what convinced us to go ahead and yeah. make the purchase yeah because yeah the florida trip was our eye awakening moment with the heat coming through the windows yeah we didn't realize just how much heat comes in oh yeah so we um yeah, that was like when we got back. Hey, we got to get those. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, the, so I'm in a ProMaster too. You said van. Van made gear. Van made gear. So you okay. can get the uh, the whole set. We have the whole set. The one for the side door. The one yeah. for the backs. Mm -hmm. uh, those are beautiful. Yeah, and, and and they're really nice. Okay. They're all magnetic. Easy put on and off. Easy put on and off. Okay, tell me about this piece right here. This is a little work table. Okay. So this opens up and we use for a little snack table. Um, little PC work uh, area. Okay. Uh, either or. Now, are are both of you on vacation now? Or you just kind of you am. work from she anywhere, don't... or? Yeah, I am. She's on okay. Vacation. I'm on vacation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. My, my summers are off. Okay. Too, so. Okay. Cool. So that's it. And the middle. This is the bed. Yep. Uh, so this pulls out into a queen size bed. Yep. So this will come out all the way out to here. Yep. And then we usually sleep long ways here. Uh, we. Sometimes slept this way as well. Uh huh. Uh, so this, I mean, again, it's for pretty. two people, uh, it's, it's pretty. Enough. It's more than enough. It yeah. really is. Yeah. We had a topper on here, but um, for long use, we decided to get like a, a mattress, inflatable mattress. Well, inflatable mattress to go on the top. So we do use a inflatable mattress because we're getting older, y'all. So we have aches and pains. <laughs> yes, so, gotta be comfortable. So we have to have a good night's sleep. Yes. So. What did this rain come from? I know, where's the rain come I know, from? what are the chances? I know. <laughs> uh -oh. um, we, have, we have plenty of storage. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Can't have enough storage. Yep. We usually use inflatable stuff because that's my back. That wedge. My back these are inflatable I, wedges. Okay. Like I said, uh, our blankets, the sheet, uh, and then all the tables and everything. Uh -huh. We'll put them uh, up here. Okay. 
and then we have a couple of power stations, a couple of fans, and then just some overflow uh, stuff. So the decorating in here, so nice. <laughs> Who can I give credit to? They point at each other. What? what? Which one? I'll save certain things, but then you'll put it into fruition of what I've said I wanted. So. Yeah. And here's what we're talking about with these are mine. Yeah. Okay. So I have three. And I, you know, kind of fold as good, you know, fold them as neat as I can. Uh huh. And then these are his three. Over nice here. and even. Yeah. So if it doesn't fit in here, I have to leave it home. So. There we go. Uh, a lot of counter space. Stuff. Oh my goodness. Y'all got a lot of counter space. That makes such a difference. It does. As it to does. whether you're motivated to cook. Because mm -hmm. if you ain't got no space, and yeah, it's a little hard. We have times like this, we cook. Yeah. When it's too cold, yes. too windy, we cook in here. Oh, uh -huh. he cooks in here. But here's all of our kitchen I hear you. Stuff. Let that man cook for you, girl. <laughs> my husband cooked for me, too. <laughs> but here's all of our kitchen yep. um, stuff up in here. Yep. Um, let's see. We added some racks over here just for the overflow. You added the black? Mm -hmm. Okay, Both I added. like that. Off it's Amazon. Okay, everything's Amazon. <laughs> now, is this a filter? Yes. <laughs> oh. Yep. 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 What yep. kind? Berkey? No, or, just, uh, the, uh, just a Brita. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Brita. No, small space, we can't bring yeah. water with this. So. Yeah, I've seen people uh -huh. with the big Burkies yeah. Yeah. in a class B, and I'm like, what? Yeah. That's Even a small, lot of space. Yeah, and they have a small one, but they, they cost so much. They do. Yeah. And yeah. so we, we're using the uh, water from the tanks. Uh huh. We will filter the water into the tank mm -hmm. and then filter from out the faucet. Yeah. Uh, so most of the water is always filtered somewhere. Yeah. 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 And then. Small ice maker. Ice maker. Right, because the freezer doesn't make. No. Ice. No, and I mean, and even though you can put fits. water bottles in there, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, we finally nice. found one because everybody had an ice maker. And we I searched high and low and found one small enough that would fit on that counter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was uh, that was a good find. Nice. And we yeah, we really use it. And these awesome. are electronic um, cabinets. cabinets. Okay, yeah, nice and organized up front, easy to reach. Oh, yeah. And then you got your TV. Does it swivel it does. all the way yeah. that way? Okay, cool. And then sometimes if the door is open, you can turn it that way, you can see it outside. outside. Yeah. Now, the panel over here, I'm assuming all this is a newer van, so you got lithium. So, this one is the uh, 200 uh, amps of, uh, of lithium. Okay. Uh, we don't have a uh, under under carriage generator. Uh -huh. We have an under the hood generator. Okay. So, we can charge our lithium batteries while we're driving or uh -huh. idling. Okay. Uh, so this one comes uh, with the what they call the BM Pro system that controls everything. Yep. So this one controls the tanks, the lights, uh, the AC, uh, and then it also tells us our battery life uh, and everything that's on there. So and then we have the trimmer for uh, heat hot, for our hot water, hot water. Okay. and our heater. Yeah. Uh, so that's all propane. So okay. everything is either battery or propane. Okay, so you uh, got the induction cooktop and propane. No, propane, propane. Uh, cooktop. Oh, yeah. oh so I thought that was two induction. Burner, yeah, two burner okay, let me propane. Catch that. What year is this again? 2022. Okay. You chose, because is it, was it an option to get the no. induction? No, the, uh, the, uh, they only came with gas, with propane. Oh, I haven't wow. seen any with the uh, induction. Really? That's what Talaro is. Okay, no, no. okay. And, and then you get the, the uh, microwave. Mi yeah, oh, the, that's, okay, that's what was the, missing. The induction, yeah. Micro yeah. Microwaves down here. How is that using the microwave all the way down there? Mm. You step into the bathroom? Or well, turn it's, here? Or just kind of turn. I mean, yeah. it gets a little hard seeing the, the settings because, yeah. again, we're a little bit older. And right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> and we don't use it very often. We do more okay. cooking. Okay. Um, He'll do the Blackstone uh -huh. or either cook it cook up here. We don't do a whole lot of microwaves. Okay, okay. Only just the heat stuff. <laughs> and then I missed your fridge and freezer. Oh, right. yeah. uh, you don't have to open if you don't want to, but the freezer is a separate. Yes. Oh, yours is bigger. So this floor model is the reason, that's the reason we picked yes. this floor model. Yeah. This is the only one, the 20K is the only one that comes with a separate freezer and fridge. Okay. All the other models come with the uh, the dorm room fridge. Okay, yeah. That has a small, the, small freezer. Right, that's what I got. <laughs> and we wanted more uh, refrigerator and freezer space. Uh-huh. So you're, you know, there's a, a drawback of everything that you choose, uh -huh. plus and minus. Uh -huh. uh, 
on the other models, their plus is they get to keep their bed out. Right. Uh, the people who choose that get the smaller fridge. Okay. We chose the bigger fridge. Yeah. So we actually have to pull our bed out and put our bed back in. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like it. I mean, so you have to weigh your pros and cons. Yeah. Uh, the other thing Whatever is the uh, other models uh, that have the bed in the back that's always out uh -huh. has the bathroom in the middle. Mm -hmm. The middle bathrooms are extremely small. Yeah. They're very, very small. Yep. <laughs> the rear baths are way bigger. Uh -huh. uh, so again, pros and cons. Yep. We, we wanted the bigger bath. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to do the cassette toilet. Mm -hmm. The ones that have the bathroom you in have the to middle take it out. have the cassette toilet. <laughs> right. Did not want that. Uh, we have 27 gallons of uh, fresh water, okay. 13 gallons of gray, and 13 gallons of black. Mm -hmm. uh, so more than enough for two people, uh, way more for one person, but enough for two people. Uh, so again, it's just about the pros and cons. What yeah. What are you willing to live with? What are you willing to live without? Right. So we opted, right. you know, yes, we would like to have a bed that's always out. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. But you don't sleep in the bed overnight. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'd much rather have the bigger refrigerator, bigger bathroom. Yep. Yep. So pros and cons. Cool. Now to let your... This doesn't have a button. This is you this manually. Is manual. So okay. yeah, there's, there's latches. Yeah. So these are actually on two separate deals. So okay. not only can you use it as a bed, you can also use it as a lounger. Okay. You can pull out one side mm -hmm. and leave the other side in. Okay. You can pull out either side. Cool. And leave the other side in. So if she wanted to go to bed, but you didn't, then you right. could. You just pull out a, a, a cool. lounger all the way out and, and just lounge on one out. side yeah. while the other person's sitting up. That's right. awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it, it, you get some good options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's storage underneath, underneath. this one. Right. Okay. Uh, on this side is the uh, is an access panel uh, that goes to the inverter, uh -huh. uh, the water pump, the heater, all the uh, inside electronics and uh, some other stuff. Okay. So, there's How more storage under here as well. Yeah. Some uh, of my extra shoes get put up under there. Yeah. Let's take up that space, yeah. girl. <laughs> that's, that's all yours. <laughs> yeah. Now, the AC uh, obviously runs battery everything right. everything is either battery but when you're on the road do you use yes. it before you get to a campground mm -hmm. we okay. uh it, it took us uh some learning yeah it was a learning yeah. curve oh yeah uh so we we realized that if you put it on low cool mm -hmm. after you start the engine it'll run it'll, it'll stay running the whole entire trip and the batteries will stay low charged. cool mm -hmm. so right. that's the mm -hmm. secret because mm -hmm. before I was i've been it, blasting it I was put, <laughs> right we tried <laughs> that too <laughs> And then, and, and, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. how did that happen? Yeah, yeah. low because cool. the uh, yeah. you're not able to charge the battery, uh, it's not fast enough to charge that battery back up. Gotcha. So, and you have to start the engine first before you start the AC. Mm -hmm. They did uh, tell me that, yeah, don't mm -hmm. run the AC without the engine started, right? Yeah. Or, or, or while you're driving it, right. Now, with it off, you can just turn it on and it's right. just running a regular battery. Uh, oh, you do run it without yeah. being hooked up, yeah, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. run the AC mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on your battery mm -hmm. without charging the with lithium. Mm -hmm. Without starting the engine. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how yep. long can you run it? Probably about an hour. Before the inverter? Before the battery drains. Yeah. But if you're driving and you're trying to run it on high, the inverter will um, trip. Because that happened to us on the Florida trip. And the only way to, to um, I guess, reset it is either yeah. you have to plug in. Okay. Or either there's a switch that we found. It wasn't easy to find. <laughs> yeah. To reset have to, the inverter. To, 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 to oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So yeah. you can can you get to your inverter? Because mm -hmm. I can't get to mine. Yeah, it's, it's underneath the seal. But the switch, we realized in order to get to the switch, because the inverter, the front of the inverter is facing this way, uh -huh. and it's against this wall. So to get to the switch, we had to put, take one of the drawers out and then reach in and then oh, turn, the, okay. yeah, turn the switch on. But, okay. uh, but that's the only, so you just can't let it run completely out. Right. And if it does... Uh, it just kills the inverter and you got to restart the inverter or plug into a uh, electric, electric and that'll do it So when you say okay, you're teaching me something here <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we uh, learn things the hard way <laughs> Yes, let me pause here So when the inverter make that makes that that infamous sound boo, mm -hmm. Like it's out right. You're saying that you can hit a button Turn it on, turn it back off And, and it, it resets will... it Get out of here right. mm -hmm. I mean, you're still going to have to get your batteries but charged right. But does that mean your battery's out? It it, or does that mean your inverter is just? It depends on your configuration. Okay. So if you're, uh, are you running lithium? No, AGM. A, a, okay, so you have AGMs. The old stuff. Uh, <laughs> and you have a uh, generator? No. No generator. Okay, so now what I was, I was told is that with AGM batteries and no generator, you couldn't run AC unless you, you only you could run AC if you were uh, plugged up. No, I can run it with the engine on. Okay. If I'm so, driving. Okay. So a lot of times me and my husband go on date night uh -huh. and we'll drive to the restaurant. Right. Mm -hmm. 
We turn on AC while we're driving. Gotcha. By the time we get to the restaurant, it's cooled off, mm -hmm. and we can eat our food in the van. Okay. 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 So that's our date night. Yeah. But that's how we learned that. Okay. But okay. low cool is what we weren't doing. Right. <laughs> that might help. Yeah. Because the but, first time we had, we had it on high, and we was blasting. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then we realized we didn't get halfway down the road before it was all it was yeah, a they, fault. Getting killed it was out. all blacked out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And then see, we uh, I also installed a because uh, our our battery management system yeah is on the uh, Balmar system. Walmart. So that's what that. manages our, our battery. Okay. So uh, they made a uh, Bluetooth uh, communicator uh, that you can connect in there. So I installed that. Okay. And I can see the, the battery levels on my phone. So while I'm driving, mm -hmm. uh, I can actually see what the battery's doing. Are yep. they charging? Mm -hmm. What the uh, percentage is left is on it. And that's how I noticed, okay, once we switched it over to just uh, low cool, it was still running. The batteries were still charging. And it would last the whole entire time. Yeah. And it will cool it down because yeah. we, yeah, yeah, it's times that we just cut that off the front mm -hmm. because it's so cold. Mm -hmm. You know, we just go ahead and turn it on, uh, turn it off. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> let me let you through here. <laughs> I want y'all to sit together. Go oh, ahead. Oh, did you want um, me to show you the back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me catch that. What? Okay. Let me pause this just for a second. Oh, look at all this space. It's a little messy right now, people. It's usually okay. a little bit better than, than this, but we do keep our air fryer in here. Yeah. The black stone down here. Okay. Um, some of our like, other kitchen stuff. And uh -huh. back here, we just have our computers and just some extra miscellaneous stuff up here that we keep. So three, uh, we have three shelves. This, okay. this was the wardrobe. So he took the wardrobe, the took little the, uh, the hanging, rod, hanging rod, out. rod out. Okay. And then we have, so we have more storage back yeah. here too as well. Yeah. Nice. Made it pretty easy. You still got extra space to go. Well, I oh, guess yeah. all that stuff outside. Oh, yeah. Some yeah, of that could space. come in. <laughs> we have space. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, we keep more of my toiletries and cleaning supplies back here. And yep. that's pretty good. And then our towels and stuff go back go uh -huh. down here. So there's a place for everything. Yes. Much. So we're, Love it. We you make guys, it work. <laughs> so this is not under the microwave. No. Uh, that's, that's the. Uh, the, the uh, fuses and the breakers okay so under the microwave that, that panel comes off and that's where the breakers and the fuses are okay awesome mm -hmm. gene and kay <laughs> and tell everybody what your channel is again we are just us fan life you can find us on uh youtube and instagram mm -hmm. and tiktok yeah yep. awesome we're a little slow at TikTok, but yeah. we're kind of getting there. Taking a little bit. Yeah, everywhere. Y'all yeah, <laughs> doing better than me. Um, so let's see. What advice would you give to couples, not just road or van lifers, <laughs> road trippers, couples uh, in a small space specifically? Now you're not. You plan on getting, going full time one day, or we ha don't know. We don't okay. Know. Yeah, I haven't right. entertained it really. No. Uh, no. Don't know. Uh, I guess the only thing that I, I could uh, that we tell a lot of people, uh, and a lot for the people, because we run across a lot of people who are thinking mm -hmm. yes. of uh, getting a van or getting something. Mm -hmm. And my deal has always been, if, if if you're really thinking about it, just mm -hmm. go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, it. It's a lot of learning. Uh huh. It's trial and error. Mm -hmm. uh, be patient. Yes. Uh, yes. Because things are gonna break mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. things are going to happen that you won't understand amen mm -hmm. uh and there's nobody readily available mm -hmm. for you to reach out to mm -hmm. um thor makes a a nice looking product <laughs> but thor is, thor is not the easiest <laughs> one to get in contact with yeah. mm -hmm. uh our dealership uh sold it to us really quick uh -huh. they're not easy to get in contact with uh, -huh. uh so we spend a lot of time we we are part of a owner's group on uh facebook okay and we reach, you know, we, we use their uh, what they put out there a lot. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times when things happen, she's on the phone just mm -hmm. searching YouTube, trying searching, trying to figure out answers. Yeah. Uh, so just be patient. Just yeah. be patient with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, trips are just a trip. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to, you know, and just, just go with the flow. Yeah. Because uh, it's the only way that uh, you can do it. That's ours. <laughs> <laughs> you got some friends out here? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> ours. Okay. Oh. Uh, you know rain, what? I rain, wanted to get the view out here. Rain anyway. through our trash can around. Yep. Oh, you got the screen like I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I thought they got rid of that. No. no sorry. <laughs> it came. Uh, oh, that's it's a little. It's also a little, little, little rustic. Okay. I was gonna give her a minute to give some <laughs> advice, but I guess she gonna let them know we mm -hmm. talking. This is what happens, y'all, when you're interviewing. Sometimes. <laughs> 
but rain. ain't this nice? I'm so glad y'all had the awning out because when it started raining, I was like, okay, we are not gonna stop this interview. <laughs> I think that was another must have. We had to have an awning, we had to have a bathroom. Yeah. Um, you know. All right, Kay, come on, so we so we can get your advice. Okay. <laughs> And then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, all right. Um, be willing to, um, I guess, make sacrifices to be um, understanding with each other sometimes. Yeah. When things yeah. don't go well, and you know, you gotta be okay with being in a tight space. Right. You know. Right. We try to make it work by, of course, you know, we add to the outside where we have more room outside. Yeah. That's good sitting there. That's what the purpose is: is to go camping. Camp as much to as be you outside. Can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to enjoy the adventure. Right. You know, as you're going along. Yeah. Um, I think that's cool. That's about it. That well, I can thank tell. you both. <laughs> this has been delightful. Y'all are, I think, the first couple I've interviewed in a class wow. B. Wow. And you're married 33 years like me. <laughs> what? I know, that's this is crazy. awesome. Is thank crazy. you. High five. All right. You are welcome. Thank yes, you so yes. much. Y'all yes, go subscribe to Just Us Van Life with K and Jean. Mm -hmm. All right. Signing off, y'all. See ya. Go get some adventure. Go get some nature. It's good for you. Bye.